Are face shields more effective than face masks? I mean, should you be buying face shields instead of face masks? I feel, feel like we're seeing them all over the place. Um, on the news, we're seeing them uh, on Amazon. You can buy them, they're everywhere now. But what's really the deal with face shields? Well, it's pretty complicated, let me say. Um, I've asked a number of my colleagues lately in the last few days what they think about face shields. And I have to say, the vast majority, uh, including myself, agree that face masks really is where it's at. And that's where we should be focusing when we're talking about in the community. But there are some people that say, no, face shields really could be a good community intervention. There are some doctors who say, well, if you want to wear a face shield, fine, but you got to wear a face mask underneath. And some people say, well, look, I just want people to wear something. If they're not going to wear a face mask, then at least wear a face shield. So let's break down some of the pros and cons and what's going on. Let's first talk about the pros of face shields, okay? They do have some benefits. First of all, those include comfort, right? They tend to be pretty comfortable. Um, they're also easily clean. You just sort of wipe off the plastic in front, pretty super easy. And they're reusable, which is nice as well. Face shields are also clear, so you can see the mouth of the person who's wearing the face shield, and that can be great for somebody who uh, reads lips or who may be hard of hearing. Um, face shields also might be more comfortable or better for certain people with medical conditions or who might have special needs. This might be a good option. Face shields probably also help prevent us from touching our face as much as face masks. I know when I'm wearing a face mask, I'm tugging with it sometimes, trying to get the nose thing right. Um, and it does naturally sort of cause us to touch our face, whereas face shields, not so much. And face shields, of course, they protect the eyes. We do know that the eyes could potentially be a source of transmission. That is important. And we don't get that from face masks. Um, and, you know, as I've heard someone say, uh, it's hard to wear face shields the wrong way, right? You just sort of put it on. Um, there have been some studies that suggest suggests that face shields might decrease transmission of infections when added to other regimens, other sort of prevention things, hand hygiene, you know, six feet away, all that good stuff. Um, so, but, so what's the deal? I mean, is that, okay, is that good news? We go with that and there we have it. Um, again, not so fast. Now, guys, I should say that I'm talking about wearing face shields in the community setting. We're not talking about the hospital setting. So when I go to work as a physician going tomorrow, I will be wearing an N95 mask. I will be wearing a surgical mask on top and then a face shield. Um, in the medical community, face shields, uh, N95s, etc. This is commonplace. But we are talking about in the community, should you be wearing face shields just to go run your errands and things of that nature? Well, let's talk about some of the caveats, some of the problems with face shields, okay? First of all, uh, it would be important if you're gonna wear a face shield to wear one that covers the most. That would be getting a face shield that extends below the chin, that extends to the ears. There's no gaps in the forehead and things like that. Um, so you have to sort of get the right face shield if you're going to, there's a little bit of, a, of that involved no matter what face shield you get, there are going to be spaces. And this is what I've always personally had an issue with is you're wearing a face shield, there are gonna be spaces on the sides and underneath um, that potentially you know, viral transmission could theoretically happen. Um, that's been a concern of mine and I think that's a concern of a lot of my colleagues, right? There's also not a lot of research about face shields when it comes to protecting the person who's not wearing the face shield. So the person who's wearing the face shield, theoretically, should be protected somewhat against particles coming at them. But does that face shield protect the other person as well? We don't have a lot of research that necessarily tells that to be the case. I should be honest with you, there's a lot of differences in opinion about this, about how well face shields might work. There's been some studies done, there's some doctors advocating for them, many who say, no, we're not quite there yet. Some of the differences in opinion may come from a number of things, uh, how we define uh, droplet size, particle size, what we consider as airborne versus not, um, you know, how you consider COVID to truly be transmitted if you think it's primarily droplet spread or airborne or a combination of both. And as we know, there are a number of different opinions about all of that, depending on who you ask. What I will say is that the CDC is what I go by and the CDC, um, let me pull this up, the CDC says this about face shields. The CDC says, it is not known if face shields provide any benefit as source control to protect others from the spray of respiratory particles. The CDC does not recommend the use of face shields for normal everyday activities or as a substitute for cloth face coverings. I'm gonna read that again. The CDC does not recommend the use of face shields for normal everyday activities or as a substitute for cloth face coverings. It goes on to talk a little bit more about face shields and, and some other caveats. Um, but, but this is what I would say, you know, 
what I'm doing right now as a family doctor and what I'm recommending to my patients is a cloth face covering when they go out and about. If a patient wants to wear a face shield, I still recommend that they wear a cloth face mask underneath. I would, I would say for that person who cannot wear a cloth face mask, um, a face shield is certainly better than nothing. Again, that's where I am right now based on what I've read and who I've talked to and the studies that I've seen, etc. One thing I know with COVID is that things change all the time. It's gonna be interesting to see how the evidence evolves about face shields and what comes down the pike. You never know, we might be saying in a few months, hey, face shields are a great thing and you should wear them all the time. Um, who knows? So we'll have to stay tuned for that. But this is where we are. You know, I'm interested to know what you think if you wear face shields or if you wear face masks, what your doctors are saying, what they're recommending. Doctors, those of you who are watching the video, I wanna know what you think. Uh, tell me what you're recommending to your patients. Um, and um, yeah, uh, please share this video with other people. I wanna hear as much as I can from folks out there. Um, I do daily health videos. So if you're interested in that, please like and follow my page. And if you're interested in sending stars, I do answer your questions first. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you soon.